Hey everybody, Onyxlet Gaming here, and we are back. Um, so I know you. If you see my last two episodes, you see me actually get into bed. Um, so I don't know why you keep been putting me the night before, but that is okay. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, let's just see. checking our plants. I wonder. I wonder how much longer they're gonna take. Okay. Anyways. We can check them up in the morning when we get up. And Grandma's still not here. She's out late. Is it time for bed? It's probably because it, when I end the thing, after, you know, I hit yes, I get to here and I turn it off and then go in the game because I, I don't want to see anything. So, yeah. Oh, good. You're oh. up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Okay. Um, so I have a bad feeling about this. I'd better follow Grandma to the town hall. I just wanted to get right here. Yeah, I'm going to grab. Well, we're kind of sort of following her. <laughs> we're more like leading the way. <laughs> because uh, the way we. I mean, I'm not even running. It, this is our only pace that we have. So. Yeah. But I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah, and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes, yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and unsavory types. I ask all of you, to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <sighs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh, you're even better than I thought. <laughs> He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? No, oh, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Okay, so we gotta grow some e beans to help Thomas to meet the order. But I... Okay, so... Let's run back to the farm real quick. So we have to water the plants anyways. But I don't know... How we can... How do we get more plots? Oh, no, no, no. Come back here, thank you. What is this over here? Oh! Sorry. 
soil. Okay. Compost bin. Um. Oh, okay. Fill. So we need, we need some more weeds. How do we get weeds? I think, yes, there's weeds, okay. Okay, so that should give us some more soil. See, I didn't know about this. Oh, okay. It's going to take a day. Okay, so let's build. Because it's going to take a day. There. Hopefully our... Um... Hopefully our, um, what do you call it, uh, our other plants that we've planted, uh, will be done by then, by tomorrow. I just wanted to collect some stuff because we need to do it. We haven't done too much collecting. And I feel like it's... Something that we need to ha have is that we have several things on us. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. There we go. I have a feeling we're going to need some of this wood. Okay, and we can't chop that down yet. So basically, we can only chop down the small trees and then the wooden logs like this. That one went kind of far, okay. So that should be enough wood for now. No, okay, I thought that there was another one back there, but it was just my imagination. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to go to the ocean as well. We're getting quite a few tasks. <laughs> That we need to get done. Okay. Hello. Um. Copper wood axe. So we ingots okay so we had to have the um, you know there's quite a few of us who moved here from a city francis kim parker and messenger cameron of course <laughs> we're taking over <laughs> so apparently we had to go get the what do you call it uh the mine the mine we can't get that open So, yeah. Um, let's talk to you. You seem very cosmopolitan. Uh, Amira or 
or, or Dr. Syed. Oh, gosh, Amira is fine. There's no need for formalities in a town with one restaurant. Fairhaven is by far the smallest place I've ever lived. But I've adjusted, and so will you. Okay, so I was told to come to the beach, but I don't... Maybe over here? So far, I'm not seeing any places to sh Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is she humming? Uh, okay, if you want to catch sea bass, don't reel a small common fish. Okay. Cool. Okay. I saw the Bruno. Yes. Okay. Um. We just need the one. Okay. Good. 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 And I just saw Bruno. But which way did he go? Which way did he go? Why are you just standing out here, dude? You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. Okay. So I think maybe Bruno um, went to the bar. Yes, there he is. Bruno! We need you, Bruno. We won't talk about you much, but we need you. Oh, would you look at that beauty. What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> nah, smelling like cut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speaking of bait, here's some more. I've given you three different kinds of bait. Give them all a try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling! Laura and task complete. You've been rewarded with um, fish stew recipe. Veggies and fish stew together in a pot can be eaten to restore energy or sold to Sophia. Okay. Thank you, Bruno. If you can't find me at my stall, I'll be by the lake in the woods or the beach. Anywhere I can cast my line. Well, and Damon's Pub. But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Fish stew can now be crafted in our kitchen. It's cool that you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you, uh, planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. <laughs> okay. Now... Let us talk to him. Just so you know, if you ever get run down, Go we'll see Amira. She fixes me up every time I have a bad wipeout. Okay, so we can't talk to him anymore. How about you? Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Mm. Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. Yeah, I remember being a teen. <laughs> okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. 
Yeah, but sometimes I wonder about that. Hey, if you ever feel like your blood sugar is running low, hit up my fiance's bakery. His croissants are divine. A little too divine. I'm very lucky I have a fast metabolism. It, um. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers. Yeah, I mean, keep an eye on your neighbors is, to an extent is helpful because you never know. You know, like if they're sick and, you know, they need a little help around the house, that kind of stuff is helpful. But if you're spying on them, it, yeah, because of unsavory things, it's that's something completely different, I think. But that's just me. Hello. Watch out for the twins. You're new and the last person who was new was Cameron. And let's just say there's a reason the Consciousness Center doesn't have the stained glass windows left over from the old church anymore. And that reason may have involved homemade slingshots. Ew. Okay, anything good right here I can gather? Yes. You. You. So I have a feeling these take a few days to come back. I don't want to get too far because I don't want I don't want to pass out I just want to be able to gather and that's the tree they gave us our, our wand I almost had stick oh such a good cat And are they back here? Yeah, oh. They are. <sighs> we must reveal ourselves to the rest of the town someday. It's the only way we can really be one community. The High Priestess may seem overly cautious to you, but we've lost too many members in recent years. We need every witch we have to keep the Wellspring balanced. Have we lost? I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're all so crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. Hmm. I wonder, I, ha I have a suspicion about her, the way she, that, or him, her, him. Um, I have a feeling that's Violet. It could be wrong, it could be, um, oh god, I just lost his name. The... Oh, the guy who owns the thing in t little, um, not the bar guy, but the, his brother. How'd you get in front of me? She was behind me when we went through there. But yeah, um, I have a feeling that it's, oh, the surfer dude. Can't pull his name. Hmm. Is it time for bed? Yeah, we're about to pass out. We don't want to be passing out because apparently you can get sick. These. 
Okay. Four hours remaining. Okay. Um. Select. And it's water. Now. We get half of them. So we can just do one. Oh yeah, we gotta go by the race. Uh, hmm. Kai, that's it. Uh, okay, so it looks like people with four stars are just maybe friends. But I wonder why the difference between four stars and um one two three four five six seven and seven stars that's i was almost at seven but i was like wait a minute hold on let me double check but yeah okay Oh wait, let's go show grandma. We get potatoes. I can't thank you enough for helping out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest? Yes, grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Ooh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb than you thought. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. Okay, so we get... <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um... I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Okay. Gar we have gotta build three car- Three of those. Okay. I guess we can do that. We can do at least. We get three hours. Um. Let's go ahead and chop this one. Oh, that didn't take much. Usually it's three chops. <laughs> Unless it's the one I cut, tried cutting in a previous episode. But ran out of energy or time. Okay. Oh, 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 I wanted to check out the shed in here. Oh, it's a cutscene! You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but... I'll try for us. Yeah, we can definitely try. So, what do we have in here? Oh, <gasps> paper press! <laughs> Bill. Um, uh, right there. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so we can't get that one yet. Nor that. Or that. Okay. It's worth a shot. Crash. Um, how many of those do we need? Okay, we need two. Okay. And so we gotta go give our paper to the farseer. And we also need more wood. And then let's head to the town. Because we need to um, go sell the, the potatoes and then I want to see oh what do you have it really looks like you've been around the world Ty well yeah back when I was doing the pro circuit I hit up a lot of places but I've been keeping it local lately less stressed Switch to the sell page to see what items you can sell at a shop. Oh, we can sell paper. Oh, we can sell candles and looks like some other stuff. That we'll probably learn in a little bit. <gasps> I we don't have the gold. Okay. So, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Dahl. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Okay. Um, buy two of those. Sweet! These items are available for purchasing. Wheat seeds. Plant these wheat seeds in the garden bed and wait eight days for them to mature. Grow in spring. Plant, uh, tomato seeds. Plant these tomato seeds in the garden bed and wait four days for them to mature, grow in summer, and then sugar. A sweetener extract from sugarcane. Use it in recipes or sell it to Lena. Oh, you can also sell. Okay, I don't want to sell. I want a boy. But, um... Wheat seeds we can grow now, but I'm not sure where we can. Let's just buy one of those. Um, and we get two of those. Okay. Oh. So you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you? Know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I'd only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. Well, good luck. <laughs> hey, new girl. Pass a message to Hazel for me? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? 
It's been a goal for a long time. <laughs> God, you're so good. Sebastian said you helped his sister out. That was cool of you. She pretty much takes care of him by herself. Dude, I want to buy some chocolate. I love chocolate. Bye. Now, I saw her. Juliet's like always staring at Sebastian. Hmm? Then the minute he looks at her, she looks away. Well. I mean, shy girls are like that. I was really shy. We moved way too many times when I was growing up. We barely stayed in the house for more than just a couple of years. Oh, wrong path. So, I... It was hard on me. I struggled making friends growing up because of the amount of times we moved. But, you know, it's how life was. Part of me wishes that I was able to stay in one area for a while. But at the same time... I also am grateful that um, I got to, um, I don't have, I don't think I have to, th um, you know, I finished to do that. Um, I, at the same time, I um, am grateful to, that I've been able to see pl new places. I'm all out of strength. I could uh. eat some food to recover some strength or try again tomorrow. Okay. Switch to the top. Okay, so I can take photos. Thank you. And then. Oh, there's the other one. I was like, we only get two? Um. I'm all uh, out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Or try again tomorrow. We would definitely try again tomorrow. Well, maybe. I might not remember. Oh, such a good cat. Such a pretty cat. I'm just hanging out around this area because of the fact that um, I don't want to go too far, but I need to go to see the forest here. Hello. Okay, so we can't talk more to her. Um. Lena bought the potatoes just as you said. Oh, here's the money, Grandma. Ah, I won't hear of it. You did all the work. You deserve the reward. But, Grandma, I... I mean it. If you want to keep fixing things up around here, you'll need all the cash you can get anyway. Buy some more seeds. If we keep the fields planted, We'll always have a way to make ends meet. Well, okay. But only because I'm going to use the earnings to help the farm. 
Okay, so we did that. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. <laughs> yeah, I like apple pie. Um, we should start making our way back that way. Um, but what I like to do is do apple pie bites, um, which are really good. Um, you take croissant rolls. And you lay them out flat. You don't roll them up like you normally would for with croissant rolls. But yeah, you buy like Pillsbury croissant rolls. Lay them down. And you put some um, brown sugar. Um, and, and then you also put some cinnamon down. And then you put one apple slice at the skinnier end. And then roll it up. And you put it into the oven for as long as it takes to cook the cinnamon, or the croissant, the instructions on the croissant box container, and voila! It tastes so good, especially if you serve it up with um, vanilla bean ice cream. Great, just what we need. Hang on to those, and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations of spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down, and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days <laughs> now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go <laughs> get me those squid. <laughs> oh, it sounds like that um Sydney guy. The, the yeah. Who are you? Again. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. Huh. Some of these voices sound familiar, but I can't play some. As you may have sensed, your grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identity secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. Especially after today's... Um... Mayor thing, or yesterday's mayor. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch, but actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh, no. No, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring, the source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it then we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the Wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Okay. Let us do that. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is what that is. 
Oh, see, uh, this one's going to be a little bit better. Um... Let's give them a thistle. Whoa! So now I can cast spells? Cool! Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. Okay. So we get a few tasks on today. It took me ages to get this far in the coven, but don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. The first year's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, everything he says makes sense in the end. Okay. Everything's so pretty. Okay, so I, before I pick these, I want to wait until these two are ready, so I can pick all three of them at the same time. <sighs> Such beauty and calm. I lo love how the calmness of the night. I've always been a morning person. Um, I don't know why I tend to fall asleep and get, I get, you know, a lot of people wake up in the morning and they're kind of grumpy until they get up. I'm like that when I get tired or at night. But I've always loved the peacefulness, the calmness. Of the night time. Your grandma was one of the first folks who came to greet me when I moved here. She brought me some fresh veggies and some soup. It made me feel real welcome. I'm glad you've come to take care of her. And then. Oh, we can't. Okay, but what, what, what do you have for sale? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be buying anything. But what can we sell you? Apple? Oh, apple cider and beer. And wine. So at least we know we can sell... Sell things. Which is nice that we can... Um, each business has their own stuff to... That we can sell to. So you, you're not selling everything at, in the exact same spot. I mean, that's, that is a little bit more convenient to put everything, you know, to sell everything at, at the same store. But at the same time, um, it's nice to give people, you know, say, okay, I have uh, wine. I know I need to go to the bar to sell it and each place has you know designated areas to um sell and then there okay so in the next episode um, uh, should I go to bed? In the next episode, we're going to build those um, garden beds that we need to get going and try to go to get a squid, if I remember. Um, 
and holy cow, we did so much today. Uh, we the mayor's suspicious. We um, got a you know we got the paper made. We we you know we got quite a few things done today, which is nice. Um, and I can't wait. I'm really 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 enjoying this game. I love how every day that you talk to somebody, their the dialogue isn't the same. Cause like in if you play Animal Crossing, if you talk to them like once or twice, all of a sudden your the um that di you know dialogue starts repeating it. There's so many times you're talking to them. Um, and I loved I played the Animal Crossing all the time. I grew up with it, but at the same time there are times where it's like, ah, come on, get new dialogue. <laughs> you need to wait till certain events to happen before you get new dialogue. Um, so that's one thing I like about here. You don't have to wait for brand new dialogue it's already, do, already changing um but yeah that's really cool i love it i'm really really enjoying it if you're enjoying it yourself please leave me a comment down below give me a thumbs up it really really helps me out and i hope to see you guys all in the next video put lots of love out there i love you Mwah! bye